so the world building was very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's just a shame that the TV show is not all that good. Yeah, in my opinion. Uh, it wasn't that good. Um, before we watched this, I looked up some of the reviews in Korean, and a lot of Koreans were really annoyed that it was so different from the webtoon in a way that it did not work. Okay. Um, apparently, 5 8. Mm -hmm. So 5 8 is the, is the, is the invincible hero. Mm -hmm. First of all, don't ever do that when writing a character. Mm -hmm. You can't make your protagonist invincible. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Right. That's one of my faults with the show. But go ahead. Oh, I see. So the webtoon, it wasn't written that way, I apparently. See. He was a marginal character. Ah. And Sao mm -hmm. was the main character. That's the way it should be. And, um, Howell is a girl in the webtoon. Ooh, yeah. I like that even better. Yeah, and there was no um, sister, kind of adopted sister figure who yeah, died she was, in, in she the was beginning. Spoilers, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. But she, uh, yeah, she, I don't like these characters that just serve the purpose of dying for somebody else. Yeah, and it didn't really make sense. Like, it was never you know established why did, why did they come in and start killing shooting at them anyway did you get that uh i forgot I but was confused i confused by a lot was, of the plot yeah so the very beginning was really chaotic and mm -hmm. so a lot of koreans uh Co the korean reviewers said that the first two episodes were unbearably chaotic mm -hmm. and there is just there is no explanation as to why they changed these settings like you know how are like mm. from a girl to a boy yeah um why five dash eight became um the the hero like the main character mm -hmm. um i know why five dash eight became the main character because he's a movie star yeah to, to hire ki mu bin who is just one of our greatest looking men of our nation okay so he <laughs> i was thinking about this and he is a good looking man mm -hmm. like if i saw him at a coffee bean and tea leaf <laughs> In Gangnam. In Gangnam. Yeah. And I looked at him, I would go, wow, that guy's really good looking. Because, mm -hmm. he, you know, he's tall and all that. I would say, oh, that guy's really good looking. Mm -hmm. But on screen, I'm like, eh, is he really good looking? So I have a theory about this. Like, mm -hmm. there are, when you see people who are in the movies, there's like the close-up type of movie star. And a lot of Hollywood actors are like the close-up type. They're mm -hmm. short and they have like great faces. It's been that right? way for 75 years. Yeah, yeah. so like... Tom Cruise, mm -hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio. It's like, you know, don't really have to make, you, you know, the body doesn't really like, you know, whatever, right? And then there's the the whole package kind of mm -hmm. movie star, mm -hmm. which I think started when, like, they needed these Marvel superheroes. I think, like, they started to surface. Mm -hmm. But Korea has always been about these tall, okay, like, whole body kind of mm -hmm. dudes, right? And because, like... We really like tall men, I think. Mm -hmm, As mm -hmm. a nation, we're just obsessed with, like, tall men. Mm -hmm. And if, like, if dude is, like, tall and just sort of, like, he has these, like, broad shoulders and um, his the head has to be, like, relatively small to the, the body, yes. then that's a good-looking dude. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what he look, what his close-ups look like. Mm -hmm. That being said, I feel like Kimo Bean has, like, a very interesting face and he also looks like he could be a little bit invincible mm -hmm. and i think yeah i thought the casting was fine i just and I, something a problem i had with all of the characters or for the, most mm -hmm. of the characters was a wooden quality to everybody yeah um, both in their in the way they carried right. their bodies right. and in their faces like right. everybody had a very flat expression right i and think that was intentional i'm sure that yeah. was intentional but it just if that's intentional because it works for the writing, then change your writing because mm. it just doesn't make for very compelling mm. characters. I don't think. I saw it a little dif a okay. little differently. I think that there's something going on in this country, and everybody is just sort of. A lot of the younger people are just sort of numb, and mm -hmm. they just they're very indifferent, mm -hmm. and. I would mm. imagine future generations to become more and more stoic. Yeah, I guess so. There's yeah. like a, a, and if you think about this kind of situation, mm. this scenario, there you would have to be defeated in in a certain sense. Yeah, and but like, like what's there's the point also of life? probably by that time there would be generational trauma. Yeah, from like the the comet, and then mm -hmm. you know there was like a mining population mm -hmm, that had mm -hmm. a bunch of children who became mm -hmm. mutants. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine that these this population in particular is like a an extreme version of like 
Koreans today. Yeah. And Koreans are already sort of, I don't know, I feel like we're really pretty fucking stoic. Like, I feel like we're just like, kind of like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. Another yeah. shitty day at work, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, true. Yeah, another no, day of point. being yep. underpaid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not taken care of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. You know, there's something else that I noticed about these characters is everyone had a perfect haircut. <laughs> you know, like everyone looked like they've just and then if you walk around Seoul, there's a there's a hair salon on every street corner. Yeah. And everyone's going in, I don't know, probably every every month or something. Yeah. To get their hair done. Mm -hmm. Well, in this show, it looks like. Yeah. Like, yeah, in I the midst of this post-apocalyptic, yeah, yeah. there's no romance. Yeah. What's there? By the way, in this show, there is absolutely no romance. Yeah, I guess there's supposed to be chemistry between the five dash eight and the military and the military uh, head, ma sergeant major or something, yeah, yeah. the general. Mm -hmm. I don't know what what it is, but it never yeah. there was zero spark. I didn't really at one point in the very beginning. I thought, okay, maybe this might be a thing, and then at one like. Quickly after, I realized that there was not going to be any yeah, spark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Another thing that I that I liked is it seems to it seems that I have an affinity for a certain fashion. Yes, and that is the post-apocalyptic authoritarian dictator yeah. fashion. Right. Well, because no, I've he's really, the billionaire. He's not a dictator corporate, in the military sense. Yeah, the corporate. It's the authoritarian worse. corporate. Head of the corporation, yeah. or in this case, Aesthetic. son of the head mm. of the corporation. There's a Freudian thing of wanting to take over the, you know, right. the bad son wanting to take over yeah. the father. But I loved his ties and his jackets. Yeah. Like he had fantastic jackets. Horrible human being. Fantastic <laughs> jackets. And then he sat in this chair that had this head back thing that was like this. And he could just, you know, <laughs> uh, I could sit here and just rule. <laughs> yeah. For eons. It, it kind of makes sense that you would like his aesthetic. Why is that? I don't know. Just because, yeah. you know, he has authority and you there's like a There's a little authoritarian in me. I think so, a yeah. A little tiny one. Uh, I don't know if authoritarian is the right word, but there might be a little bit of like fascist in you. I don't know. I would like to make the decisions, but yeah. only for, the, you know, it, like, like uh, Galadriel said in, you know, uh -huh. Lord of the Rings. Uh, I would do amazing things. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah, yeah. the fascist in mm -hmm. you. Yeah, I think. And all would bow down to me and Yeah, I could I in see despair, that. I yeah, think is what I she totally said. See that. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Um I Yeah, I would not do very well in this world at all cuz I don't really like labor. And apparently like there's no, no you don't. escaping labor yeah. in this world. Yeah. Right? Even if you're the one percent. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I would imagine there's more labor because like nobody there's nobody there to Well it depends support. also if you're a refugee or if you're a working class. Person. I think if you're even if you're in the core, mm -hmm. you have to work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess everybody's working. Yeah, everybody's yeah because working. It, the the system has to like you know it it has to sustain itself, yeah, and there's not enough population. Yeah, and everybody does it in, in feeling a sense of privilege that they are. Yeah, the core that you workers. can breathe. That so, you can because you get to breathe. You yeah. get to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. So that's it's just it brings back to all of this stuff about life and soul, which just to me is. It's starting to bear down on me just right. how much soul is the absolute pinnacle of exploitative capitalism. Absolutely, yeah. And I see it every day on the streets. Do you think it's worse than China, though? It yes. Can't be. Really? Yeah. I think soul is yeah. the poster child for exploitative oh, right. capitalism. Okay. I believe you. Yeah. yeah. Do you think there will be a season two to this monstrosity? <laughs> I think there very easily could be a season two. All right, you know, the, I mean, we the end the ending was. It, I think was, it left it, everything open. Yeah, think, but it yeah. also the ending. The last episode was not very good. <clears throat> it, well, it was just like all, so all of a rushed. sudden. Yeah, and remember that scene where we both burst out. We laughing both burst out laughing hysterically at the same time. because yeah. <laughs> they like there were two. I don't know. There was an attack, right? It was like a standoff okay. between the military. Oh, yeah. Can I just say yes. the dumbest strategy 
the dumbest military strategy I've ever seen. Let's drive up to the place we're going to attack in cars, get out of the cars, and just do a full frontal attack. Yes, yeah. It was a standoff, Stupid. like a Western. Yeah. yeah like, so, but then there were these two guys it's like, who missioned impossible. Yeah. Like, with <laughs> Mission yeah. Impossible to from down the top of the, from the sky. <laughs> and then I was like, well, where did they do that from? Well, it was from the roof from of the, the dome. dome right? But they never showed that. So it was like, oh, that's weird. And that's when we found out that it was a dome, right? Yeah. Well, we saw it before oh, yeah, because they right. show the moon and you yeah, see like some true, pixelization true. or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Um, Our dog is sighing. Yeah, yeah. but the, the, some of the action sequences, you know, I mean, we get everything. We get an MMA fight in this. Oh, that we was get a awesome, car chase. Though. That MMA fight, by the way, I have something to say about that. That was an awesome scene because I think they casted an actual Muay oh, a, Thai a fighter. Thai guy. I don't know if he's Thai. He, he looked Thai. Looked to Thai. Me. Yeah, and he was dubbed at some point like mm -hmm. he, he speaks. Mm -hmm. And then you could tell that it was like a dubbed, mm -hmm. you know, scene. But um, he was like an actual fighter fighter. It was like exhilarating to watch, um, even yeah, though his opponent. That. You know, I used to love boxing mm -hmm. and I reached some point when things started getting really violent with MMA and, mm -hmm. and it happened in movies too. I just don't like see, watching people get punched in the face anymore. Right, I right. just, and it's weird because I used to not bother me, but mm -hmm. now I just, I don't, I don't like it. So when that fight was going on, mm -hmm. I think I went and made some tea or something. Yeah. Um, he was very elegant. Like his, um, you know, you could tell that he, He's a professional, like yeah, he, yeah. professionally trained yeah. in like Muay Thai, yeah. possibly Jiu Jitsu. I don't know, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I wonder who that was. Yeah, so that was well done. You're saying? I thought that was pretty well yeah. done, even though his opponent was not. I mean, it wasn't really choreographed in a way that would have taken any amount of time. They were just showing like the guy that was mm -hmm. casted for this scene, mm -hmm. like you know, doing his thing and sure he's got a bottled up body double and you've got yeah, close-ups you inject yeah. and things like that but this whole show looked like it was so rushed and i've been on the, some the of the gunfights were terrible. terrible there was this one scene here's here's my imitation of a korean getting shot <laughs> yeah. that's one bullet but there was this one scene when five dash eight through a bullet flower. <laughs> he threw a clip of yeah, bullets yeah. onto the floor and then shot it. And they sh the ricocheted autonomously. Magically <laughs> spread out and hit all of the guys who were standing around it. And then you were like, that's not how that, that that's works. That's not how that works. And then, like, the Korean me was like, it's not? Like, because, and I know why they included that scene because, like, us Koreans don't know any better. Like, we've never mm. shot guns. Before. Right. Well, it looks cool. You yeah. Know? It's, it's like something out of a comic book, right. which is what this is. Yeah. So. But that was really funny. There were that a was. lot of scenes like that. But I don't know. Will they make a season two? I think they will. I think they will too, except that the Korean reviews are really bad. Oh, yeah. And I'm seeing 60% so... approval on IMDb. I, d I have seen general. Not Korean um, reviews, but like general reviews mm -hmm. that were pretty positive. Mm -hmm. But the Koreans one, Korean ones were very negative. Comparisons to the webtoon. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people were saying, I thought Netflix had pumped a lot of money into Korea, the Korean, you know, production system. Like, why don't they have like... Um, what it obviously didn't go to this show and then there mm -hmm. was another thing that i wanted to talk about which which was um the actor who played the uh the conglomerate like the the evil billionaire the evil the kid. evil boss yeah. yeah the evil boss the antagonist he has been around for nearly 30 years mm -hmm. right um he's very good looking did you see the symmetry of his face yeah, it was insane looking. yeah mm -hmm. um and great clothes again great clothes his acting hasn't gotten any better for the past 25 years. I just don't understand what, like, how can you stay in an industry for so long and not mm -hmm. progress in acting? Yeah, Sorry. There was, there was some but suspect yeah. acting. Going yeah. On. And so there was like a lot of hastened, you know, scenes. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. They might. Be, maybe if it was cheap enough to make, they might make a season two, and it was only mm -hmm. six episodes, mm -hmm. so maybe mm -hmm. like you know. Um, but I would like to see season two of obviously Squid Game, which is coming out like next year, I think. Oh, we'll have to do that. Yeah, and then also, remember Hellbound? 
Oh yeah, I like that. Show. I liked that one. I'm really yeah. yeah I I'm anxious to yeah. to see that. Mm. But this is not something that I'd be looking forward to. No, <laughs> it's kind of like what's the show we gave up on recently? Shadow and Bone or something like yeah. that. Yeah. We watched the first episode and was like, no, nah, I don't think I right, need to continue right. with this. Yeah. yeah. Hi, you may. Yeah. What do you think, you may? What did you think of the TV show? Well, it was really loud. Yeah, it was really loud? Yeah, Daddy. So you didn't really like it very much, did you? No, not at all. Mm. So I went to my other rectangle. Yeah, you went and lied down on your mm -hmm. rectangle. That's right. Well, we'll try to find some quieter shows for you next time. Yeah, um, the one with the, the puppies and the seals. Yeah, that... you do like puppies, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah, you like, you like to see animals. And the kitty cats. The kitty cats. Mm -hmm. You like kitty cats. And the birds. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about the birds. Yeah, the birds. Although the birds kind of scare you a little, don't they? <laughs> they have to be smaller than her. I think the, so. the wings can't be too flappy. Right, right. <laughs> All right, so that is Black Knight. Take biggie, Sayasmita. Nay. Mm -hmm.